over some zoom basics for you so typically guys I'll post the daily agenda on Google Classroom and all you have to do is click on the zoom links in order to get into my zooms alright so once I've clicked on a zoom link guys it's gonna ask me do you want to allow this page to open zoom.us and I'm gonna click allow because I do want to get into zoom zoom will start to connect and it will ask me a question guys and it's important to um, answer this question correctly it says join with computer audio yes I want to click that blue button there so I join that way you can hear me All right. it might also ask you to um, have your video on um, what you'll notice guys if you don't have your video on you will just have a picture like this okay don't panic or freak out all you have to do to start the video is you go over here to where it says start video and I click on that video button and there I am I am back alright now another thing you can do guys is let's say you need to ask me a question but you're too embarrassed to ask in front of everybody else hey it happens I get it what you can do is there's actually a chat button right here and if you click on that little bubble chat button a chat will appear over here alright if the option is to send it to everyone, you can do that. You can also click here to send it to just a particular person, like your teacher. Right? And you can type in your message, hey, Mr. Gillette, I need help. And it will send it, and I will see it, guys. And I don't have to, uh, it doesn't show up to everybody if you click to just my name in the chat. All right? So that's another good thing um, to know. All right, another thing, guys, if you want to um, clap or do something and show a reaction, guys, there's a cool set of buttons called reactions. And you can choose a thumbs up, um, some clapping hands, a heart, a little celebration horn, um, all these different little things. And you can click those, and I'll actually be able to see the little emoji that you've picked in the corner of your screen. So that is pretty cool, guys. It's fun. If your classmates sharing something and they do a great job, um, you can send one of these thumbs up or you can send one of these clapping hands. And it's just kind of a fun way to show your support for other students. All right. One thing else that's important, guys, is the mute button. A lot of times you will automatically be on mute. The way you can tell is with this little microphone button here in the corner. All right. If this button is like this, you could not hear anything because I was on mute so in order to get off mute if you are on mute you just click on the microphone button and it won't have that red line through it anymore that means that people can hear you it's very important when you join a zoom guys that you are on mute that way other people don't hear things in your background All right, another thing guys is if you are in full screen mode guys full screen mode what happens is I might say, hey, guys, I want you to go to Google Classroom. And you're trying to find Google Classroom. But look, if I go down here to the bottom of my screen, I don't see anything. I'm stuck in full screen mode. One way to get out is by hitting the Escape button on your keyboard. The Escape button is at the top left corner of your keyboard. And it has the letters ESC for Escape. If not, guys, a lot of times if you click on the upper right corner of your Zoom, it will let you exit full screen mode. Another thing, guys, is let's say that you're in a Zoom and you're working on an assignment and you accidentally minimize your screen and you actually get so small that all you see is this. Now, at this point, you might be freaking out, thinking that you're out of the Zoom, that things are going bad, but a lot of times you'll still see this tiny little bar here, guys. And all you have to do is click on this or hover over this little bar and if you click on this little arrow, it gets you back into a bigger screen mode, guys. <clears throat> All right. Well, anyways, guys, those are some of the basics of Zoom. I hope you enjoyed this video. And the best thing to do in Zoom is not to panic. All right. Anytime, the worst thing that can happen is that you have to log out and join the Zoom again. And really, that's not that big of a deal, guys. So remain calm and you'll be fine. All right. Thank you.